an organisation that's committed to keeping young people safe is Medics Against Violence. Set up in 2008, its Youth Navigator programme tries to get young people out of violent situations when they arrive in hospital, and it is now run by ex-gang member, Calm Hutchison. Multiple stab wounds, fractured eye socket, temporarily blinded, punctured lung, six pins in the hand, and a machete wound. Fair to say you were a regular visitor in the hospital, Calm? Aye, absolutely. I was involved in gang violence um, for a long time. What was it like growing up in a gang? Initially, it was exciting. It was just my pals. I am about with boys a lot older than me, so I felt valued. Um, I felt like I was a part of. Um, but the reality set in quite quickly. The glamour's quite short-lived. Absolutely. You know what it's like when you're a young person, you think you know everything, and you think you're right. And I was hurt with the truth that I was not right. Um, and it wasn't as easy just to get out. I used to think to myself, I'm not going to see my 21st birthday, and I'm all right with it. I actually thought that I would meet my end in a hospital. Um, that's when my life would just disappear. And um, actually, six and a half years ago, my life changed in a hospital um, through the service that I'm now working with and manage, actually, which is quite surreal, um, to be back in a hospital in a, a senior capacity, overseeing and managing the team that, that helped save my life. Do you think there's been a shift in gang culture in Scotland? I think young people are starting to attach themselves to their communities again, and they're starting to express themselves through the through violence and through territorialism and um, use weapons. Um, yep. Do you know, you've got young people getting badly injured, severely injured, and you've got young people who are tragically lose, or who have lost their life. They're returning back to doing the same things that I was doing maybe 10 years ago. Um, so I think what we're seeing is social media having an influence through violence. Young people are again posing with weapons, um, bullying, territorialism, violence, but also just low self-esteem and not feeling good enough about themselves and feeling that they need to live up to this kind of Instagram world that's kind of fake and no real. And, but that's their life, that's the generation that they've been brought up. Do think gangs are back? Oh, I know gangs are back. Young people are identifying themselves as gang members again. Young people are identifying themselves as weapon carriers again. And with young people associating and affiliating themselves with gangs, they're just looking for attachment. They're looking for hope. They're looking for opportunity. So it's not that I think. I, I absolutely know that they are.